Alright, we are back in the game with some more Zardom's Total War. Now, um, I'm actually a bit late uploading this brand new campaign, um, due to the fact that I'd forgotten that I'd finished the Austrian campaign something like 9 or 10 days ago. So there's been a little gap between uploads in this series, but uh, we're back in it, and we're going to go with the Golden Horde, which starts in the top right hand corner of the map. Uh, the Austrians obviously started over in the uh, top left um, corner. We've already done a Naples campaign and we've done an Ottoman campaign. So yeah, time to head up in this part of the map and uh, see what kind of units we can get and who we're going to be fighting. Now, the mission of this campaign is to take out Moldova or Moldavia, which is somewhere around here. Um, Valachia is also somewhere around here, so we might bump into them, um, but we could potentially just be fighting one faction. I do think that we have to take all of Crimea, which means we have to go to war with Genoa as well, uh, because I think they control part of that. Right, um, so there's actually a ton to read through, and I'm not going to read all of that. You should just install the mod. It's a very easy mod to install and highly stable. And constantly being updated. Or regularly being updated. Right. Uh, weaknesses. Lacks infantry variety, heavy infantry and effective gunpowder units. That's a shame. Extremely strong cavalry units, powerful mounted and dismounted archers and access to vassal units. Now I think at this point the Golden Horde have conquered um, some Rus kingdoms, or Rus, and they perhaps have access to some uh, Russian units. Um, recently I did a uh, Kievan Rus campaign in the Stainless Steel mod. In fact I think that's probably still ongoing. Alright, so let's get started and see what the situation is like on the campaign map. We will be again as we were, and even greater than that. Um, unfortunately, uh, Petru Rear is. Uh, we probably won't, because our mission is to wipe you out. Now, the Austrian campaign that I finished, I actually got done very, very quickly. Uh, this I can actually... Um, just pause it there, let you read it. Yeah, um, the Naples campaign and the Ottoman campaign were done on previous versions of the mod. And they took a long time, but the Austrian campaign was incredibly quick for me. Um, not really sure why, but this is the newest version, I believe, of the mod. All right, noble houses, yes. Um, you can have disloyal um, members, generals, um, because of ruling house system. Regional titles and ancillaries, yes, that pops up for every um, faction. Yep. bunch of things in there that are probably not going to be relevant. Alright, uh, I'm going to turn off that script, don't like it. Alright, uh, cost for changing capital, I think I'd turn this one off. Uh, stick to it, then decline to discard with Nope. Right, that gets rid of all those. So, we've got 10,000 in our treasury. And we're going to make a small profit. We do need to take out um, Moldova. This is Hungary, I believe. I think that's Wallachia. And this is Moldova. I will be interchanging them. Moldavia, Moldova. You know who you are. You know where you are. All right. We've got six generals and four regions. Hmm. <clears throat> What agents do we have? Uh, diplomat, Imam. My goodness, I'm already starting to lose my voice. Uh, 
Right, spy and a, an assassin. Okay. Yeah, there's Kaffa with a bunch of Genoese in it. Okay. Now we do need that for our victory condition. We've got decent army there. Right. Uh, we can use sharpened stakes. Our infantry doesn't look too bad, and we do start at war with uh, Genoa. We also start at war with Hungary, unfortunately. Terrible relations, and at war with Moldova. Moldova might even invade us if we're not careful. We don't have any allies. Right. Tartar diplomat. Okay. Minus settlement. Um, want them to leave, though. Right. You are definitely going to have to invade. Um, attack. Armenian archers. Uh, they can also get stakes. But, uh, yes. Mercenaries are very useful and quite a few of them around, but they're expensive to maintain. Right, Armenian spearmen, Cossack marauders. Haven't seen this unit. Again, that's what's great about playing in different parts of the map, getting to see different units. Now, what do I have in there? Hmm, you're not getting free upkeep. Must go, well, go and join them. They might even have a tough time. Uh, winning that, they sallied out. Right, we can at least. Right, we don't have any ships, or we shouldn't have any ships. Continue moving. Go and talk to them. I wonder if it's even worth it. I bet we can get an alliance though. Yeah. Right, Croatia and the Golden Horde. Okay, will they go for it? Yes, they will. He's only rank three, but he's doing okay. Right, there's my Imam. Let's get him moving west. Right, got a minor settlement there with nobody in it. <coughs> How much loyalty do you have? Only two. That ain't good. That ain't good. Looks like we control this territory in any case. Don't know what's up here. Alright. So, he's now taking over in there. House of Giray. Ah, okay. Hmm, right. Are we going to leave them in there? There's some Ruthenian peasants in there. Um, who was I watching? I was watching a YouTube channel just yesterday that was showing how the Ruthenians... Um, I think the title of the video was How Did They Defeat the Mongols? I'm sure it was. Yeah, look, we can get some Russian units in there. Um, does look like shock cav. They look fairly heavily armed. Yeah. Yep, yeah, more Russian cav. Decently priced. Ruthenians, yes. Well, those are halberd units, aren't they? Well, they cost. They are very cheap. They could be very useful, though. Hmm. Uh, right. Let's see. This other chap, though, he's just replaced. He's only got three loyalty. The House of Borgin. Ah. Hmm, right. 
Only three loyalty. What's our royal family then? We better find someone from our family. House of Kiat. Alright, where's my blasted leader? Well, that's what four different houses already, isn't it? Um, where is that leader? Is he in here? Faction here. Is that my leader? It is. Alright. Ah, so the royal family is Borgin. That's why I'm going to pronounce it as Borgin. Alright. Also has a doctor. So you. Uh, why do you only have three loyalty if you're from the ruling family? Hmm. Ruthenian spears, eh? Yeah, I think that description is a bit misleading because it looks like we've got some very solid units. See, even these cheap units can put down stakes, which, as we know, are very effective in this mod. Um, very good spare unit there. Good spare unit there, cheap, dirt cheap, even cheaper. Those are all going to be effective against cavalry. Um, they're going to be able to hold the line for quite a while, I would imagine. That's if anyone's going to even get past the um, stakes that the archers put up. I think we'll be okay. That's an interesting symbol for the intern. But I do want a general that I can send out into the field to command another army. But all I'm seeing are disloyal ones. I don't really want to send any of them out. Right, might just have to send out an army without a general. Yeah, we've got lots of very cheap units. Right, he's only got one loyalty. That's pretty bad. Ooh, quite a few, bit of corruption there. That's 2400 to get rid of that. We're going to need some more diplomats, so we can normally only get them from our capital, right? Can't get much from there in any case. Can't get much from there. Alright, so diplomat, imam, Spy, and there's an assassin somewhere. We can get princesses. I wonder if they'll bug out in this campaign like they do in the others. Right, doesn't look like we need to get anyone else from over there. Most, well, none of those are getting free upkeep. I'm going to drop that all the way down. <coughs> And basically send that entire army out, and we'll get some free upkeep units from in there. Now you, you can go off and build some watchtowers or something. How much were they again? 200. Alright, you get closer to the border, because the Moldovans are over there. That's the target right there. That's the territory that we need. Now uh, you can't get too much over here. At the moment you probably need to upgrade something. Same with you. Right. How much corruption do we have? 488. Uh, so we've got another diplomat coming. Here's our assassin. Uh, it says that's a minor settlement. Come to the river crossing. That looks like it's um, rebel territory along here, at least. Mm, none of those are free upkeep. I wonder if there'll be a free upkeep. Now we've used those in the Ottoman campaign, and I think perhaps some of those in the Naples campaign. Uh, they do not put down stakes. Kipchaks, they can't put down stakes. Tartars can. 
Ooh, who are these Kishtim slaves? Right. Huh. Right, bunch of slaves. Not Slavs. Right. See if any of those, well, those are not going to be free upkeep. Um, but maybe we can transfer them. How much happiness do you have? You've got a lot of happiness. So. So there was somebody in there. We do know that rebels can be uh, quite aggressive in this. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to be careful. Alright, you're making 474, 1173, probably because you got a port. 565, you're making some good money. Can boost the tax there. Gravel road, very expensive. I doubt if you'll come under attack. Ah, oh, there's a gunsmith. We can get rocket launchers already. Ah. What can we get from that? Okay, we'll have to wait for some historical events so we can get more equipment. Let's get a port in there. We can boost your tax a little bit. You're the one that's not getting too many units. That'll give you a whole bunch of units though. Right. You can already get a lot of units. Uh, can't change your tax rate. Can get a port. Rocket launchers are fun, but they don't have too much ammunition. Alright, they can only hold the three. We've got you coming. Uh, we should try to find the settlement over here. It's going to be a rebel one. So we can expand as quickly as possible. I don't think we have any ships. We can just quickly check. No, it doesn't look like it. And family tree. Ooh, a lot of dead people already. Wow. Alright, basically no one left over on this side. In fact, he's the next one coming. And he'll come along fairly soon. He's a Borgian. Alright, so there's still money left over. Um, he's going up. Alright. So I don't think we fought against the Moldavian forces at all. Um, Yes, we did. In the Ottoman campaign. I remember they came along the coast, didn't they? We fought a couple of battles against them, right around the mouth of the Danube. We'll have to see if we can fight anyone else other than them. Uh, we're going to take out those Genoese forces. But that'll probably be a one-time event. Genoa does have other colonies around the Black Sea, though. They have one right outside of Constantinople, and then they have another one along the uh, northern shore of modern-day Turkey, somewhere near Sinope. Of course, um, actually, you know what's odd? The Mongols, no, it's not the Mongols, it's the Timurids. The Timurids do show up in this mod, don't they? Um, last and what turn was it? I'm trying to remember. Uh, they pretty much show up at the same, ter same turn, always. Like 66 is pretty early in the campaign from what I remember. Ah, pestilence. Alright, what did I do last time? 
Um, no. I think it still happens. Right. That gives them a scripted army somewhere around the Dardanelles, doesn't it? Um, okay. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost that whole blasted army. So there's a whole... Well, there's a rebel stack in there. Not full stack. But now we've got that other one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to have a battle. Uh, probably this will be the only battle. Um, but yeah, we lost that whole stack. We didn't gain too much money from losing it, though. That's annoying. Now, I did say it's quite uncommon to lose armies um, like that. But obviously, it happened. Which ain't good. It ain't good. Right. Tartar light spearmen. Yeah, but the thing is, none of our generals are loyal enough. I wanted to send them out. One and two uh, loyalty, which isn't good. It ain't good. Well, he hasn't come of age yet. Right, so we got new diplomat we'll see how quickly they can get out otherwise I might hire a ship because um, we do have a port there actually he's going to be close to the port and they only cost 510 so we'll get some more because we've got to get all the way over to Italy and all throughout um, Anatolia. Blast. Right. Go and practice on him. Ooh, only 35% chance. 95% chance. Right, he did rank up. He was successful. We can see exactly what they've got. I'm not confident that we could win that one. But you know what? We can send these ones out to help they'll come in as reinforcements alrighty let's have a battle our very first battle in um, episode one of this brand new campaign of Zardom's total war a fortress surrenders from within mostly they do through trickery or Starvation or disease. Alright, that's activating some kind of script. Alright, all of those ones can put down stakes. Now we've just got to get the enemy to run into our stakes. Do we think they will? Hmm. Okay, is that a lake over there? No, well, it's the Black Sea, probably, isn't it? Fancy units. Incredibly fancy. Right, some of them are actually coming into range. We'd better get over to where our allies are. Get moving up there. Well, they can do flaming shot as well. Also, well have them on flaming shot. The UI looks a bit odd. Uh, those are not fitting into the UI properly, are they? Right. Those ones are firing. Those are going to get decimated. I'm going to take those off a skirmish. Yeah, they should get wiped out fairly quickly. Who are those Cossack marauders?
you know, they're... Yep, we've destroyed that one. That's my general, but he can't use his ability. Yeah, stay away from the light spears. You stay off the skirmish. I think we're going to have to get all those cavalry out there. Get stuck in. Right, have you made contact yet? Uh, you just broke, didn't you? Right, I'm going to take those ones off the skirmish as well. Those are looking about equal. Percentage wise, Ooh, we did run into some spears. Yeah, don't worry about those. Go after their cavalry. Get stuck into those. About equal so far. Those ones have run off again. The other force is somewhere behind that hill. Right. Can't quite remember if we take casualties running from behind those in some total wars. We do. Or in some mods, they do. Right. You're getting crushed. Men can sense their doom upon them. Your doom is upon you, blasted traitor rebels. Shoot them down. Alright, he did rally. That's their reinforcing army. I say let's finish these ones off and then get these ones if we can behind there. See the enemy run before our might. We will leave nothing behind but widows and orphans. You do that. Alright, you're taking a lot of casualties because you ran into their forces over here. Alright, might as well commit those because they're just Cossacks. That's probably the cheapest cavalry unit we have. That'll slow those down. Right. Let's get you up there. Those ones are firing again at the Tartar Horse Archers. You shouldn't be taking any shots from anybody. Right. There's a heavy cav. We've got light lancers. That's not a great matchup, but we've got these missile units. They'll help out. Hopefully. And then hopefully we can get all of you behind here and the rest of their army will come. Now they will have some range advantage perhaps, firing down from up there. I yeah, haven't killed off any of that body, um, general's unit. Mirza Lancers, they look pretty tough. At this point, get after them. Both the Cossacks have been taken out.
shoot up those Kishtim slaves. They don't look particularly tough at the moment. Maybe there's a role for them. Oh yes, at a certain point uh, we won't be able to recruit or retrain Noka archers. They will become obsolete. Still managing to delay these this unit. Who do we kill? Uh, he actually look like a named general, doesn't he? Yeah, you're getting shot, but can we actually reach those? Can you reach them? Yes, you can. We are winning it. Because we're in it to win it. I have, in fact, turned on the shadows for this campaign. I very rarely ever turned on shadows in a... Uh, Medieval 2 or any of its mods. I've had the game since the day it came out, so it's been a long time, but uh, never really cared for them, the shadows that is. But I thought we'd test it out. I have managed to upgrade my graphics card since the last campaign. So we'll see how it looks. Um, with the shadows on. Right, those are starting to get killed off. Right. Those ones are all still firing, so mm, some of these units must still be in range. Well, this one's actually run out of ammunition, haven't they? I bet you could break them. Go and shoot up that general. Yeah, I think he broke them because we're starting to get some prisoners. There's a wavering as well. I'm tired to light spearmen. They're probably a bit tired as well. Yep, those are broken. Let's see if we can break that one as well. Nuka horse archers. Not nuclear horse archers. 69% Those might get trapped in the corner. <laughs> Looks like they're going to get trapped in the corner. Come on down here. Right, who do we have there? We can break those. He's almost out of ammunition in any case. Might get a man of the hour event out of this. I would certainly hope so. They have not used up much ammunition, have they? They've been firing quite a bit. Yeah, they must have a lot more ammunition than the horse archers. Who else can we run after? Those are not broken. Those are broken. Come after those. Seventy four percent gone. 
They are using flame arrows. Let's take them off. Doesn't seem to have done too much to help. The enemy warlord lies dead. Now his Good. Their doom upon them. Your doom is upon you. Not all archers can use flaming missiles in this mod, and not all of them can put down stakes. Those are also out of ammunition. We should be wiping them out by now. You just need to kill off, well, you've broken that unit. That was a traitor, wasn't it? No, that first one, first army that we killed. That's the trader. Mightiest Khan, only half of our force remains. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Ah, oh, those have been whittled down to just two. These are heavy horse archers. They've almost been as tough as those Mirza Lancers that we faced. I would like to chase after those ones and those. And just let the um, archers decimate these. Go on, shoot them up. They have broken. Right. Harder foot archers are holding out. Keep running, keep running. Ah, uh, that one's gone away. There's only one of those. Our foe is broken. Watch how these weaklings run. Hunt you weakling. Down. You weakling. Shoot them. They have nowhere to go except for in that fort. Definitely worthy of a Man of the Hour event. Don't you agree? Speed all of that up. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely getting a sore throat. Now, this has been recorded on a Monday, and um, the Sunday I actually took off and didn't do any recording. Even the Saturday afternoon I didn't do any recording, so my voice should be okay. Ninety-eight percent. Um, we ended up losing less than half. He's about the last one to go. Yeah, we got some replenishment as well. That was a good victory. A uh, good battle uh, for the first episode. Shame that we had a, an entire army go rebel on us. But we just don't have any good generals to send out there with them. I think even my faction here was only three loyalty. As you know, I don't like to have anyone less than four. Right. Come on. No man of the hour event. Blast you. Right. I'm just going to merge all those up. He has no one to practice on. Right. Um, so that went up quite a bit. Uh, we didn't get anything 
constructed. We will have to deal with him. Right. Well, I do have you. He could come back and actually do something. Now there's a road, and there's a border. There's a border. Right. There's bound to be another rebel settlement up here somewhere. Which we can't see, but it's probably somewhere along there. Alright, I'm going to see if we can get him with some more loyalty by killing off him. Probably send both of those generals out. Uh, what's his name? Tash Timur. Cool name. Right, I have a strong feeling that those are going to sally out against us. Only three loyalty. It's a shame. All right, that's where we're going to end this one. Um, yep. Yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully you feel like leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. Still trying to grow the channel. Currently up around about 480 subscribers. Definitely would like to get to 1K by the end of the year. And it's doable. Doable. But only with your help. <laughs> 